for the Marine Forces Reserve Band. I don't know about you, but I'm energized. Maggie Flegno here, live at Rodeo Houston for a special edition for Armed Forces Appreciation Day. It's my favorite day of the year, especially out here at Rodeo Houston. I'm joined by some very special guests. Introduce yourself. I am Staff Sergeant Danny Paxton. Well, first of all, thank you for your service. Thank you all for your service. Today is about you all. So tell me, how did you get involved? Well, we're all here at the Marine Force Reserve Band. We're from New Orleans. We came here as soon as we could after Mardi Gras season. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're here to support Armed Forces Day uh, here at the rodeo. And how long have you been serving? I've been in 10 years. Oh, my goodness. What do you love most about serving our country, would you say? It's a great question. I really like the lifestyle. So um, patriotism, but you're also taking care of. Um, there's self-sacrifice, but there's also a lot of uh, giving that's involved. So. Yeah. Well, we can't thank you guys enough. So today, I'm so excited. I mean, we'll be feeding. I always like to serve, and we'll be feeding over 3,000 military and their families. So I'm very excited about that. When you're out here at the rodeo, because you're from this area, where did you grow up? Um, I'm from Houston. I went to school in Ailey ISD. So welcome home to you for yeah. sure. What does it feel like to be back at home? And you grew up, I'm sure, going to the rodeo. Well, it's, it's wild. Uh, I haven't been here in over 10 years. Like My last duty station was Hawaii, so I wasn't really here right. for a long time. So going back, it's, it's wild. It's just different. Like, it's, it's more developed, it's cleaner. It's all yeah. these things that are, like, happy to see it. You know? Did you get to reunite with some of, you know, your family and everything? Are they still here in Texas? Uh, yes, ma'am. I saw some old mentors, some dear friends of mine, and uh, some family as well. That's great. I'm so excited. Are, what are you looking forward to most today at Rodeo Houston? Well, the mass swearing-in concert that we're going to do at the end of the day, that's a pretty special moment in, uh, in, our, in our existence because there's a large number of people are going to go swear an oath of allegiance to the armed services and we get to be part of that. <clears throat> um, this, is, this is a very fun thing to see considering like, how long ago it was for me and then how like all of us have done the same thing. Right. So that's special. So for everybody out there that's considering maybe joining the Marines, what would you say to them? <clears throat> go for it. I mean, there's no reason to uh, shy away from a, a good challenge. So. Sounds good. Well, I love a good challenge and I also love some good music. Can you play a little something? They're going to play something. Do you know what they're about to play? I know exactly what they're going to play. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's exciting, you know. We're we're so happy to be a part of the rodeo again as a company. We love to serve the people of Houston. We're starting to feel like we're a part of rodeo tradition at this point. I feel like people expect to see trail burgers at the rodeo, and we're excited to be here. And you know, we've been wanting to do something different with the rodeo because the rodeo is, you know, a true unification of the city of Houston. Like this is about as Houston as Houston gets. But we wanted to do something that showed that we were embracing the rodeo as well. So we decided to add two new items on the menu that are barbecue rodeo themed. Ooh. And if you're going to do barbecue in Houston, you couldn't pick a better partner than Ronnie Killen. So I reached out to Ronnie initially to ask to use his sauce on our on our burger and our fries. And he was like, that, that's nothing, no problem. He said, would you want to do some brisket as well? I mean, it's Ronnie Killen's brisket. Yeah, seriously. Absolutely. Did you have to ask? I 
mean, come on, man. So, so we've created two new items. The first one is the Trillin's barbecue brisket burger. So that's going to come with two patties, two slices of cheese, our caramelized onions and pickles and sauce. But we're also adding some trill, some Killin's barbecue sauce on top and fried onion rings on the burger. But if you want brisket, because we're making it optional for people, because that's a lot of burger as is. But if you're up for it, we can put another three ounces of brisket on top of that burger and just make it a full experience for you right here. As only Houston does at the rodeo. Go big or go home, right? Right. But for people that just want a burger but still want a little brisket, we got the Trillin's barbecue brisket fries. So we have our amazing, super flavored, seasoned trill fries. We're going to cover that with a bed of brisket. We're going to chop it, put a little sauce on it. We're going to add some white queso, some onions, pickles, and for us Texans, jalapenos. Chef's kiss to you, bud. Yes. This is amazing. Now, here's the thing. It's always packed here, but you're also inside the stadium now, Yes, too. for the first time, we're going to be serving not only at our booth right here outside Rodeo Plaza at RP65, we're also going to be at our four stations inside NRG. It's the first time we've ever done it outside and inside. It takes a lot of people to get it done, but we've been training people. They are ready to feed you guys, whether you're outside enjoying the fairgrounds and the carnival, maybe taking the kids by the petting zoo, or if you're inside watching the competitions, getting ready for a concert, Trillberg has got you covered at the rodeo this year. Well, speaking of watching a concert, <laughs> honey, you are busy. So yeah. tell us a little bit about All American Takeover. I'm excited. This is my third year in a row performing at the rodeo, which is almost unheard of. It's an amazing thing that I've been able to bring to the city. Of course, the first year we did the H-Town Takeover, which went over like gangbusters. Last year we did the Southern Takeover, which was crazy. But this year we've got the All American Takeover. So I'm pulling from all over this country. So we've got California with E-40 and Too Short. We've got Missouri with Nelly. We've got Florida with Rick Ross. We've got Houston with the Mexican OT, that Mexican OT and myself. I've got a lot of other great surprises. I'm going to be announcing about three more people before this thing gets started. Oh. And I'm still going to have a surprise. What? Yes. Of course you are because you're Bun B. That's <laughs> how you roll. When you step out, though, onto that revolving stage and there's all of those people yelling your name, what does that feel like? It's, it's surreal, you know what I'm saying? Because one of the first concerts I ever came to was at the Houston Livestock Show really? and Rodeo. I saw Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. That's become like a joke amongst my close <laughs> friends. I don't want to get them started. But to be on that stage performing for people, um, it's, I mean, it's really hard to put into words because I perform for tens of thousands of people before. Um, you know, I've done music festivals and things like that. But to do it here in Houston at the rodeo for Houstonians, it's unlike anything I think I could ever be a part of. It's so special to me, and I'm glad that people from other places are now seeing how special, not just my night and my performance, but how special the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo really is, how culturally uh, significant it is to the city of Houston and our identity. I think it's one of the best cultural exports that we have here. We recommend that anybody that would love to come and see here. Houston is a great hosting city. We'd love to have you come on down to enjoy the rodeo and get a trail burger while you're here. I love it. And in closing, I saw you with kids. What message would you have for our youth out there? I mean, you really, look at where you are. So what message would you have for them? Look, man, hard work pays off. You know what I'm saying? I know that a lot of times it seems like one post or a couple of different TikTok videos and people soar to the top, but it's not really that easy. There's a lot of hard work that people put in that don't really, you don't really see on social media. You only see the wins. You don't see the losses and the steps that it takes. So if you don't make it on the first couple of tries, that doesn't mean it's not meant for you. That just means it isn't time yet. Keep trying, stay focused, stay steady on the path, and I'm pretty sure you'll end up where you want to be. Well, drop the mic at that one. As always, it was a pleasure to have you, and congrats on all of your success. We can't wait to rodeo with you. I cannot wait to have you guys here. Y'all make sure to keep watching Houston Habits on CW39, CW baby. Thanks. You got to step up and man up. I'm Big Dad. Watch the drama unfold. You are the fuck get the hell off my stage weekdays starting at 12 on cw39 i'm passionate about working in my community if we get out in the community and help others that's how we actually make the difference in the world houston has certainly helped form who i am and it's an honor to me to be able to serve my local neighbors in houston i want you to be leaving saying Willie won.
Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. Ah, uh, my grandson, it's my boy. Hey, Grandma. And a WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these. As in, WellCare gives me benefits I can use every day. And real human support and answers I can understand. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions and a WellCare Spendables debit card to pay for things like dental, utilities, and groceries. I can even use it to pay at the pump for gas. And that means a WellCare DSNP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call or visit wellcareyes.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. I never thought I'd buy flooring from a service I saw on TV. It's just not me. But I heard great things about National Floors Direct. Name brand flooring, great installation, and an amazing price guarantee. At National Floors Direct, we offer next day installation of beautiful name brand carpet and luxury flooring and will beat anyone's price by 15% or it's free. Call 888-400-FLOOR. I saved $2,000 off my best quote and no interest for one year. Call National Floors Direct at 888-400-FLOOR. We bring the store to your door. I was driving, someone smashed into me, and then they just drove off. I knew I needed a lawyer, somebody to help me out. After calling Jim Aller, he got my medical bills paid for. My car was fixed immediately. The time that I took off of work was reimbursed to me. I wasn't expecting to get as much as I did. My life is better because I called Jim Aller. I'm Jim Aller, the Texas Hammer. I know how to get you all the money the law says is yours. Call today, 713-777-4000. Friendship goals. Can we offer tomorrow night Pink Floyd Laser Show at the Planetarium? Oh, you could plan it on it. The Neighborhood, weekdays at 4 and 4.30 on CW39 Houston. Now back out here live for a special edition of Houston Happens at Rodeo Houston, my favorite day of the year, Armed Forces Appreciation Day. Also, because I get reunited with some of my good friends, so introduce yourself. Hi, I am Spike Garcia, Senior Master Sergeant, uh, Air Force Retired, and the Chairman of the Armed Forces Appreciation Committee. Well, thank you for your service in more ways than one, sir. And, of course, this handsome gentleman. Hi, I'm John Grimes. I'm a second-year vice president with the Houston Livestock Show and Radio and proud to be the officer in charge uh, again this year of the Armed Forces Appreciation Committee. I have to say, I cover a lot of events at the rodeo, but there's something about serving and volunteering today and getting to look someone in the eye and say, thank you for your service. So tell us a little bit about this day and what it means to you. Well, personally, for someone who served and has deployed uh, overseas, a lot of our guests, a lot of our military that are here have just recently returned or are going to deploy. So be able to do, say thank you to them and honor them and, and, and their families. Plus, when you're talking about the greatest generation, saying thank you to them for their service and their sacrifice for our country, that, that just warms my heart, and along with the other committees. And this committee is unlike any other committee. I mean, how many volunteers are there that make this happen? So within this committee, we have 200 members who actually, this is their passion. They love this, and you know, to be able to give back. And a lot of them are veterans themselves, which I always like talking to them and sharing stories. So I have to say, Rodeo Houston kicked off. We're at day two. What are we looking as far as attendance and everything? It's looking really good. Uh, we had a good uh, good start to our, our uh, show season yesterday with uh, Blake Sheldon, did a great job. Um, but uh, today is Armed Forces Day. It's also one of my favorite days, uh, that and First Responders Day. So Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is just proud to be able to set this day aside to to dedicate it to our, our those in our active military and give them give them a family uh, friendly fun day at the rodeo that's totally dedicated to them and we're proud to do it. I love it and we're expecting quite a crowd here that has already signed up and ready to go, right? Absolutely. So we have over 4,400 guests that as great generations currently serve in their families and ghost our families that we're going to bring here to one provide entertainment give them some great texas barbecue you know and then go to the concert this evening and i heard there's a new item on the menu you guys are serving up yes uh, as far as uh, the jrtc 
first time ever in the history of the rodeo, they will perform a demonstration in the junction between noon and one. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about all this. What are you most excited about for all of rodeo? Oh, I, I just think it's uh, just just the passion of watching the passion of all the volunteers. There's over 35,000 of us um, that, you know, are led by 109 great chairmen of each committee. And, and then me and my fellow officers support that. And uh, so does our chairman of the board and executive committee and, and all of the rodeo staff, president, and CEO. And I think it's just um, uh, heartwarming to see the efforts that they put in, the dedication, the time, uh, time and talent commitment that, and the contribution contribution that they put forward and that's what it's all about and at the end of the day um, obviously it's um, educating the youth of, of Texas I, I love seeing uh, the scholarships and sitting the, at the at the various events to, to commemorate that yeah I mean times are tough it's so nice just to be able to escape and have a wholesome day at rodeo Houston so again thank you for your service thank you for all that you do God bless y'all I'm so excited to be out here we have plenty of fun and guess what I heard we have a good forecast because it gets hot on the line. I saw your apron. You ready to serve? Uh, so they'll be served by, uh, by my fellow officers and myself when I'm not uh, interviewing. And today on the menu, I think there's 600 slabs of ribs just oh. to start back there. And let me tell you, it is such good barbecue. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I know that you are super busy. So Kerrigan, I got my hat on. Yesterday was super warm and muggy, but that we don't care. We don't care because it's Rodeo Houston. And here it's nice and chilly. And I know that we have some changes headed our way. Yeah, so if you stepped out this morning, it was probably still a little warm and muggy for you, but that's changing heading into the afternoon. Uh, we have a cold front that is passing through right now. Instead of light and radar, we are seeing that cloud cover overhead. That light green that you see there, that's some very uh, or isolated, um, very light showers that we're seeing that are associated with the frontal passage. Overall, it will pass dry, but again, that, that rainfall was seen here and there this morning, but we have those winds in different directions right along the coastline. That's where that front is passing right now. After the front completely passes through, we'll get those winds all coming out of the north, breezy at times, gusty even um, with this cold front, which is currently sitting, like I said, right along our coast. Check out the temperatures on the backside in the panhandle there in the 20s at freezing uh, there in Lubbock, 32 degrees here in Houston, sitting at 65 and out in Brownsville, Corpus at uh, uh, in those 70s. Small craft advisory and a wind advisory issued for today, just indicating those wind speeds on the order of 20 to 30 miles per hour, even higher than that could be seen at times. This front will not really bring a massive um, impact besides the wind. It's going to be the, the pesky thing that we're looking for uh, later on this afternoon with those wind speeds all out of the north, anywhere between 20 and 30 mile per hour gusts, and then slowly but surely, um, kind of. Kind of coming down as we head into the evening with the Galveston still seeing those gusty winds um, by that time. Going into our future cast, we have overcast skies uh, over the course of our day today. That's going to hold steady for the night and into our Thursday morning. Now for Thursday, we can't rule out some showers for uh, the morning or afternoon. Nothing too widespread, but our models are picking up on more of this rainfall impacting our local grounds for Thursday. By the nighttime hours, if you have plans of going to the concert once again, uh, we should see less of that rainfall, but still overcast skies by that time and temperatures on the chilly side with overnight lows falling in the 40s. For our Friday and Saturday, temperatures do warm back up uh, near 80 degrees as we approach the upcoming weekend. Saturday is looking nice for any type of radio plans. Good news is that the nicer weather of the next couple of days is falling on the weekend. And then as we head into next week, yes, we're warm once again, but some isolated chances for some showers pop up on Monday and Tuesday. Kerrigan. Sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing out there. It is so busy in here. We are continuing to celebrate Armed Forces Appreciation Day. Now, if you're like me, you want to maybe kick off your boots at the end of a long day, snuggle in, and watch a good movie. Well, we've got you covered in today's entertainment report. Well, to many, the first one was an epic film, so the excitement for the sequel is off the charts for fans and for critics. <laughs> Okay. It's been a while since you've had one of those nightmares. The old movie is based and structured on a love story. 
between Paul and Jenny. Well, I'd very much like to be equal to you. Maybe I'll show you the way. It's a story of a, a young man, a, a, a boy who becomes a man, who, who falls in love, discovers culture, and decides to avenge his father. And those themes are uh, uh, beyond the sci-fi and genre. Oh! Yeah, it was, it was, it's what was in the script. I, I found myself in the first movie yearning for uh, scenes for Paul to grow up in. But this prophet, it's in the senses. Fade Rotha, he's psychotic. He wanted to make sure that in this, there is a love story that means something that is complicated and uh, emotional and connected. And, um, and he always found those moments to carve those out. My allegiance is to you. Do you believe me? Um, I think what he does so well as a filmmaker is allowing for scale and big things to happen and epic things to happen, but he never loses sight of the human things. Every day was surreal and bizarre and nuts. You feel like a kid, yeah. you know? I mean, watching, watching films, uh, you know, as a, as a kid and, and wondering how they made them and then suddenly you're there. And, and like, you get to go to work and, and look around the room and, and see all these people that you have adored for your entire life. This is a form of power that our world has not yet seen. The ultimate power. And, and then once action is called, then, then you're not thinking about any of that. You're just thinking about, you know, in, in the case of that, just trying not to kill yes. each other. Yeah. <laughs> Dune Part 2 heads to theaters Friday. With your entertainment report, I'm Doug Kolk. You're watching Houston Happen! Somebody has to be lying. Either you're telling me the truth or you're not. Everything I'm telling is the honest to God truth. You guys have a lie detector? We're the lie detector. Hot Bench, today at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. Hi, I'm Brandon with Priority House Buyers. And I'm Pat, and we buy property all over Houston. Our family-owned business has been buying houses for cash and fixing up neighborhoods since 2009. We buy fixer-uppers and blower-uppers. Rented or vacant, inherited, foreclosed on, even homes in decent shape. And we'll pay all the closing costs. And there are no commissions. All it takes is a few minutes on the phone to see if our family can help yours. Call 832-821-1000. That's 832-821-1000. The Grand Cherokee is the most awarded SUV ever. And because of that, it means even more when you can keep a Grand Cherokee in the family. It's yours now. While still looking forward to the road ahead. During the President's Day sales event, get 10% below MSRP on most 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L models. Hi. I'm attorney Larry Taylor Jr., attorney and managing partner of the Cochran Law Firm, Texas. Choosing the right legal representation is a big decision. At Cochran, Texas, our team understands the law inside and out. We're not just attorneys, we're dedicated to navigating the complexities of the legal system. We know every case is unique. We're here to support you through every step of the legal journey. Remember, when you need an attorney who understands, Cochran cares. Call our firm today at the number below. Who can you call when you need immediate help, any time of day or night? Always giving you and your family peace of mind. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not going to be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Join today for less than $5 a month. We'll waive the membership admission fee. And as a special bonus, you'll receive a free one-year membership for two additional eligible family members and a $25 Visa gift card. That's a combined value of up to $174 for only $59 for an annual membership. Don't wait another second. Call to join AAA right now. They have comedy down to a science. How did she get you to do yoga? To be honest, I thought she said Yoda. Weeknights at 6 and 6.30 on CW39 Houston. And a Texas-sized thing.
thank you for all of our troops. I'm so excited. It's the calm before the storm. We are celebrating Armed Forces Appreciation Day here on Houston Happens. We're getting ready for 4,400 active military and their families to come here and get some good old barbecue and enjoy the rodeo. Stay tuned. We're checking in with Kara to see what's cooking. And we also have some special performances. That's coming up in the second half hour of Houston Happens. I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieved my pain and changed my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. The next Powerball drawing is presented by Jack Pocket. Jack Pocket lets you order official state lottery tickets right on your phone. Just pick your numbers and place your ticket order. See a scan of your ticket right in the app. And get your winnings instantly. Go to jackpocket.com to get the app. Use code LOTTO and get your first ticket free. Jack Pocket, America's number one lottery app. Why are women everywhere raving about Sono Bello? Today is reveal day. Here we go. Oh my God. It's flat. Look at this. I love my new body. I love my new shape. We take fat anywhere in the body that's constrained to you. Once the fat is removed and thrown away, that's it. It's gone. I'm loving life. I'm loving all my loose fitting clothes. I got to buy four brand new bikinis. Join thousands of other women. Call or go to sonobello.com. And this year is unlike anything you've seen before. 31 days of the hottest style, 31 days of incredible savings. It's how we're celebrating 33 years of rooms to go. Shop online or in store, there's never been a better time to see what's possible. With sale prices like these, you can shop and save any way you like. The rooms to go anniversary sale starts Thursday. Hot Bench, today at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. And here this morning with me, I have Justin Nee. He's going to tell us a little bit about what they're cooking up. So all you know, what is happening for our troops today. So thanks so much for what you guys are doing out here. We've got some ribs and some sausage. Am I, am I seeing that correctly? Yeah, this wind's a mess. But yeah, we've got over 500 racks of ribs today. We've got 1,000 pounds of uh, turkey sausage. And then we've got 1,200 hot dogs that we're cooking for our troops that are coming in today. Oh, my gosh. And so today and this happens every year every year so you're going to be feeding how many today so we're expecting 3700 people a little over uh to come through the hideout and eat with us today okay so what goes into the prep to make all of this happen how long have you been preparing for this so we prep all year we'll take a few weeks off and then get started for next year but all year we're coordinating food orders and supplies and cooking equipment uh, we got here at four o'clock this morning set up a full-blown commercial kitchen serving area and a restaurant inside to feed them and then we'll have them all out and turn back over to the rodeo by five o'clock today okay so a, a lot is going on 
on appreciation day i mean obviously the barbecue one of my favorite things what is your favorite memory of being a part of this every year oh well, this is my 13th year so i've got a lot of them but just seeing the the young guys come out that are not from texas they've never been to a rodeo and they're going to get a great barbecue lunch, get free carnival rides, get to see a show for the first time, and they're just happy all day long. I love it. Great. Awesome. Awesome. And guys, if you're watching out there and you want to come out and show your support, please look at your screen right now. We have all the information you need to know about how you can get some free admission today. You don't want to miss that. And also go to the website on your screen as well on how you can get information on parking, admission, everything you need to know to bring out the whole family and have a great time. You can see my apron is coming undone. I thought I was going to cook up some barbecue today, but I may need to get this fastened first, but I'm going to send it back over to you guys. title reveres for the ages shogun for new streaming series this week there's a new adaptation of the epic shogun about a shipwrecked english sailor who rises to become a samurai in feudal japan see it on hulu now all right that's the one that's your one. on netflix starting tomorrow there's season two of the drama the tourist with jamie dornan headed to ireland to uncover more about his forgotten past I'm new school. And there's going to be less violence on my watch. Is there anything that I could have done to improve your highway robbery experience? On Apple TV Plus, there's the British comedy about a band of bumbling highway robbers. The completely made-up adventures of Dick Turpin begin streaming on Friday. And on Disney Plus now, there's the new animated series, Iwaja, about a young girl and her new pet in a futuristic Nigeria. Six months in isolation. You start thinking too much. I'm getting interference. For new movies this week, Adam Sandler is a solitary astronaut on a journey in deep space in Spaceman. Oscar nominee Carrie Mulligan co-stars catch it Friday on Netflix. This is the most excited I've ever seen anyone over an omelet. For new documentaries, Phil Rosenthal's acclaimed food and travel show returns for its seventh season. The new season of Somebody Feed Phil begins streaming Friday on Netflix. A trio of Hollywood heavyweights return to their Texas roots with the documentary trilogy, God Save Texas. See it now on Max. And As We Speak examines the impact of rap lyrics being used in criminal cases in the U.S. and around the world. Catch it on Paramount Plus now. And finally, on Netflix, there's American Conspiracy, The Octopus Murders, about the mysterious death of a reporter who may have uncovered a secret, wide-ranging conspiracy. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video pics sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards. Well, let me tell you, there's so much entertainment over here. I'm so excited because I'm reunited each and every year at Armed Forces Day with my good friends. Introduce yourself. Ken Ramroth. And what do you do around here? Uh, shuttle food. Yes, you do. When we need beans. We're like beans on the line. You That's come it. through with the beans I'm every with year. The beans, I'm with the brisk or with the ribs and the sausage this year. I just make sure ever, all the pans are full. That's right, my friend. And of course, Jessica, thank you, first of all, for your service. Tell everybody a little bit about your background. Well, my name is Jessica Folks. I'm an Air Force veteran, and I've been on this committee for 12 years now. So I pretty much set up and run the serving line and have been from the get-go, and this is my baby. I make sure everything in here works, and we get everybody served. You really do, and it's really amazing. And your son is actually active right now? He is active major in the United States Army working at the Pentagon. Whoa, that's amazing. How proud are you? Very very, I am very proud of him for everything that he's been doing and all of his accomplishments. He's actually working with the uh, vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That is so impressive. I just got chills, actually. Yep. And you served as well as a firefighter. I did 40 years as a firefighter. 35 of them was with the uh, city of Houston. Well, thank you for all that you do, too, because that's my favorite part of today. I actually get to look people in the eye and say, thank you for your service and thank you for what you do. How much does it mean to you to be able to give back to your fellow servicemen and women? Oh, my God. It's just this is the most rewarding day of the year for me. I mean, we're here from 5 a.m. until we shut down 5 to 6 o'clock tonight, and it's go, go, go. We don't see it, we work and it, just to see the, the smiles on everybody's faces and their appreciation for everybody that comes through here getting food 
and the entertainment is just the most rewarding and I am so happy and I feel so blessed that I'm able to give back. And we're coming close to Women's History Month and being a woman that served, what was that like for you and how would you encourage other young women to join? It's definitely an experience to be able to serve and be in the Air Force. The one thing that set us apart from a lot of the other um, uh, units or um, military branches is that the women actually train with the men. So we, oh. we, in boot camp, yes. So we appreciate and we respect each other a whole lot more. We have men respecting us for what we do and what we go through because they're doing the same thing. And it's just, it builds a huge camaraderie and it meant a lot to me to have that respect from the men because they saw what we were doing as well. That gave me chills. I wouldn't survive boot camp at all. I have even more props for my friend here. That's what I love. We've been friends for so long. She helped me my first day when I came out here to volunteer. I had no idea what I was doing. I was too slow with my sausage and now here I am. I heard there's rip. You're a veteran now. I'm a veteran now and I love the reunions. That's my favorite part. Now I heard there's some ribs cooking this year. We got a little change coming on the menu this oh, year. Yeah. yeah, we decided to put the chicken on the side and we have got some good looking ribs with sausage and beans and uh, barbecue sauce and potato salad. We've got everything all set up for you. And I can smell it cooking already. Low and slow, you guys have been cooking that and smoking them for a very long time. Kara showed us as well. Well, we actually have more performances coming up because it's all about the entertainment as well. So stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens headed your way. Thank you again, Thank my you. friends. I appreciate all you do. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Ah, the sweet sound of savings. With Reliance Flex Your Credit's electricity plan, you automatically get your two highest use days free every week. Up to eight days a month. And guess what else? You also get bill credits to redeem right in the Reliant app. <laughs> Scan the code and save with Flex for Credits. Reliant, that's power your way. Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. Ah, uh, my grandson, it's my boy. Hey, Grandma. And a WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these. As in WellCare gives me benefits I can use every day. And real human support. And answers I can understand. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions. And a WellCare Spendables debit card to pay for things like dental, utilities, and groceries. I can even use it to pay at the pump for gas. And that means a WellCare DSNP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call or visit wellcareyes.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. For years, Renew has been celebrating each new year with thousands of patients. Make 2024 your year. Everybody who knows I went through this have all told me, my God, I can't believe how real they look. They're really, really good. Uh, I'm not kidding. They're just fantastic. They say what they mean and the warranties, the guarantees on my teeth. I'm not worried about it. They'll take care of me. Stop waiting for another year to go by. Visit Renew and take advantage of 2024 pricing to get your new dental implant supported anchored teeth. Renew is up to 60% less than many other providers for fixed, removable, beautiful teeth. Renew definitely puts patients first. Love what happened. Just changed my life. It really changed my life, literally, overnight. Renew is growing across the United States. New you this new year at Renew Smiles. Call 281-800-3000 or visit RenewSmiles.com. Well, I'm back out here at 
Armed Forces Appreciation Day. Like I said, it is my favorite day at Rodeo Houston, and you've been hearing them perform for us this entire morning, and they're not done yet. They're just having a little break because I want you to meet some of our hometown heroes. So introduce yourself. Hello, I'm a Lance Corporal Daniel Dancer. I'm from Houston, Texas, a little south named Pearland. Oh, we know Pearland well and represent. And what about you? We already caught up with you, but introduce yourself again. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Danny Paxton. I'm from Houston. I went to school in Aleaf, and I'm happy to be here. I'm so excited. Now, you said you're relatively new, so how long have you been serving? Thank you again for your service. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, I've been serving with the Marine Corps for about a year and a half now, but I've been with the band for like seven months. And what do you play? I clearly, I play the trumpet. Oh, I didn't like a dumb blonde moment. I didn't look down at your instrument. I apologize. I was just so focused on doing that. What's it like playing the trumpet? Did you play in high school and then take this up? How'd you join the band? Yes, I played in high school. Uh, and middle school. We started in middle school, but then I went to college in uh, North Texas, uh, University of North Texas, and uh, I joined because my dad is actually a Marine, and I got inspired by him, and I also love playing music, so why not do both? And how proud is your dad of you? Oh, he's very proud. He, yeah. He's not disappointed. And what does it mean to you to be able to come back here to pretty much your hometown at the rodeo? Right. Uh, it's really an honor, because I know growing up, I know Texas and Houston, they really appreciate their military and veterans, but now that I'm actually, you know, firsthand experiencing it, it's just, it's a great feeling. Well, you just sparkle, so thank you for your service, and I can't wait to hear you play even more. And this gentleman over here, I mean, I feel like he's really the man in charge. Introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, everyone. Uh, Mass Sergeant Justin Hauser. Well, thank you again for your service. And how long have you been with the Marine Corps? I've been in for 22 years. 22 years. What is your favorite part about serving? Uh, my favorite part is just doing events like these that uh, uh, pay tribute to Marines and service members who have served before us and uh, the ones who are actively serving. And this isn't your first rodeo? No, ma'am. I've been uh, part of the rodeo either with the band or taking leave and coming back since 2016. What is your favorite part about rodeo Houston, would you say? The brisket. The food and just seeing how well um, Houston takes care of service members. That 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 was a huge eye opener. It was awesome. That actually means so much to me because I, I'm glad that you feel how much we love and appreciate all that you guys do. And thank you for entertaining us. You're going to be coming back in my next vlog to play us out. You ready for that? Yes, ma'am. And he likes Bun B. We were, t we were bonding a little bit about yes, that. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, still got to try that trail burger. So, Karen, I have to say, yesterday was a bit of a nightmare. I felt like I needed a tank to get to Rodeo Houston with that 610 traffic. Today was a little bit nicer. I allowed myself some extra time, and I'm here. How is traffic looking? Well, outside of NRG, traffic is starting to back up, and we're also um, to that time of the morning where Kirby Drive is starting to get closed down. We're starting to see those closures surrounding NRG. I was out and about yesterday afternoon in this part of town, and it's, it's just this part that starts really slowing down once those festivities begin. The evening traffic, though, uh, getting to and from during the concert time, that's where it can get really congested, but not all too terrible. You see the Buffalo Speedway exit right there, north main uh, roadways just fine. That cloud cover is holding steady all day long, though. We also had that, that iconic flag off in the distance there. Um, really just whooping around in the wind. We have that wind advisory still issued for today, but on to our closure surrounding the rodeo. Here's Kirby. Here's Merworth and those highlighted in the purple are what will be closed down while these activities are ongoing for today. Now let's go over those drive times. If you're trying to get to downtown from Crosby Lynchburg, it's 22 minutes. Highway 146 to the South Loop. We just took that South Loop camera. You're at 14 minutes, all green heading in from 225 and NASA Parkway to downtown only at 24 minutes as of this morning. So not too bad out there on the roads surrounding NRG for the time being. And I'm going to go back to our camera view so we can not only get a glimpse of the roadway itself, but also at the weather outside. We have that front passing through. Expect temperatures to tumble throughout the day and even into the evening. Well, thank you for that, Kerrigan. I actually have talked to you before. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sergeant Bridget Wenis. Well, thank you for your service and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sergeant Hannah Ford. Well, I'm so excited to get to know you all and to have you play for us coming up. Now, I don't know about you guys, but do you like to shop? 
Oh, yes. Yeah. I, who doesn't love to shop, right? You know what I really like, though? I love supporting military-owned businesses. So it's really fitting that we're checking in with best reviews on this Armed Forces Appreciation Day. November marks National Veterans and Military Families Month, so this makes it the perfect time to support veteran and military family-owned businesses. Joining us now with products from our servicemen and women is Senior Director of Content Operations at Best Reviews, Jacob Palmer. Jacob, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. You know, this is a really exciting one because number one, we brought a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah. But number two, these are doing double duty. Like, not, not only were they made by former service members, but they also are gonna make for great gifts. And there's something a little bit for everybody. So I'm really excited to get into it and kinda let you know why this matters. So let's first start over here, Jacob. Yes, so this is from Brewing America. And I wanna make sure that I'm shouting out all of the different makers and creators and owners because that's really what it is. There's a lot of makers and, you know, just doing cool things, creating cool things, using that experience, that know-how to just kind of get the job done. And so this is from Brewing America, and the owners are Angela and Kyle. Angela was a Marine, and Kyle served in the Army for 10 years. And what they make now are these really cool devices that allow you to make your own drinks. And so like I was saying, this makes for a cool gift because there's always that person who really wants to have that level of specificity, <laughs> yes. that level of customization. And so they make hydrometer test kits, beer glass, uh, these mason jar lids that you see here. Yes. And this is really cool because you can do so many different cool things with it. You can make cold brew with it. You can make your own infused drinks. You can make your own teas. Uh, you know, we were talking about how nice it would be to just kind of throw a bunch of raspberries in there. You, if you want to make your own alcoholic beverage that way, you can. Or yeah. you can make your own kind of raspberry water. You know, as a new dad, that would be an awesome thing because, <laughs> number one, it's sweet. It's yeah. not bad for you. But then it also looks cool. It's something to kind of interact with it like for the toddler in your life in my case. So, yeah, you know, a great gift idea here. And it's just such a simple concept, but they make it really well and they're making it. And that's the important part is we need more makers. We need more people making really yes. cool things that people can enjoy. Especially former or current service men and women. Yes. We, we definitely have to, you know, get more of that. Okay. So this is an awesome first one, but what about this one here? And this is something that just screams custom gifts. It's from Red Dot Laser Engraving, which is Steve Mount's company. And what he realized is, is that number one, he knows how to put things together and he had this huge uh, you know passion for making custom gifts for people and so he turned it into a thriving online business and so what you're able to get from this is that custom gift you know people are tired of getting the same robe getting the same blanket so why not get something that truly shows them how much you know and how special they are to you in their own unique way and he created it in 2014 and it's been getting growing and growing ever since and what we love about it is that he does a few different kinds of things you can get these uh, these wall Wallet cards as a reminder, you know, for anybody in your life. He also does keychains, uh, all kinds of different customizable engra engravings. That if you have that special message, you have that custom thing you want to let somebody know or remind somebody, he'll put it on there for you. It's uh, he runs the business out of Thornburg, Virginia, and it's an awesome, awesome company to consider, especially you know this time of year when you're thinking about something special and not just yes. any old run of the mill item. You want it a little bit more unique. So this is perfect for the person who loves to give those personalized gifts. All right, now this next one, I don't know, could this be a gift, a nice toolbox? Listen, could this be a gift for me? Absolutely, <laughs> because my tool uh, area in my basement is out of control. Yeah. And this will help you organize it and organize it in a smart way. Number one, it's a simple concept where it's organizer so you can see everything, you can access everything, but it also has powerful magnets in there so you can kind of bring them together, make sure that you've got everything in the right place. And then what I love about it, and this is my favorite feature of it, when you pull the tool out and it's not there, it's bright orange. So you see, this needs to be organized yes. again. Please don't let that thing just wander off and be anywhere. Because, yeah. you know, that can happen really easily where yeah. if you have a wrench, you got a screwdriver, you use it on one task, you put it down, you walk away, and now you can't find you use it. it and you lose it. <laughs> so we love this. This company is by John Hurley, who is a U.S. Marine combat veteran. And so he's, uh, you know, made this his company after he served. And we love it absolutely. And it's, uh, you know, is it the most exciting one? But sometimes you got the most exciting gift, I mean. But sometimes you got people in your life that aren't the That's most true. exciting people and they need to be able to organize <laughs> it. And so we yes. absolutely love this. It's called the Toolbox Widget. Definitely check this out. This is super cool. I, I love that too. And the fact that it keeps you organized, I think I might need one of these. Yes. All right, last but certainly not least, we have some beautiful blankets over here. And I love this because they've got so many different offerings that they make. And it's from Birdie Boutique and they're owned by, it's owned by sisters. And uh, Barbara is a retired service disabled 
disabled veteran. She was an army officer and she was served for almost 15 years. And what we love is they make a few different things. We've got a car seat poncho. They've got blankets and tapestries. This car seat poncho is something that when we were unloading it, I was telling uh, our, 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 our videographer here, I think Olivia's going to love this because <laughs> you've got a big dog. I who do. I would assume when he gets into the car, yes. probably leaves a good deal behind. All over. And so this is a great way to protect that. But then you've also got these other things like these blankets. It's a learning blanket and they're big on learning. They're big on having people kind of level up. And so this is a great way to teach people basic Spanish phrases as well. So awesome different gifts for those people that you love in your life. Oh my gosh. These are just an incredible amount of beautiful gifts, especially from our service men and women. So if you want to learn more about the veteran and military family owned businesses, you can head to bestreviews.com or scan the QR code again on the screen. Hey, what's up? This is Bum B, the Trill OG, repping UGK at Trill Burgers, and you're watching Houston Happens on CW39, baby. Every seat like the best seat. Great news, Houston. Medicare annual enrollment may be over, but our five-star rating means you can enroll year-round in a plan that gives you more. We've increased our dental benefit up to $3,500. Our vision network now includes a variety of popular retailers. And with OnePass, our expanded fitness benefit, you have access to nearly 600 fitness locations all across Greater Houston. There are even flex card benefits and OTC allowances to help with everyday medical expenses. Plus, unlike original Medicare, we cover so much more than just hospital and medical insurance, all at no additional cost. No wonder we've been rated five stars by Medicare for eight years running. More access, expanded benefits, year-round enrollment. Get it all with Kelsey Care Advantage. Enroll now, 713-442-7946. I used to weigh about 300 pounds. I was able to achieve my results and look at me now. Patients can expect to see three to 11 inches in just two weeks. Typically half a pound, they come per visit. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered arthritis knee pain centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Appreciation Day. Here is a look at today's sponsored content. And I'm joined by my friend again. Introduce yourself. Marine, I'm Master Sergeant Justin Hauser with the Marine Force Reserve Band. And what are you guys about to play for us? We're about to play the Marine Corps March, Semper Fidelis, which is also our motto, means always faithful. I love that. What does it mean to you to be a Marine and serving? It, uh, to What it means to me is just a way for me to honor this country uh, that has given us so much and also help pave the way for others who are yet to be Americans and are coming to and yet to be even born and just to be an American. Well, I have to say I have enjoyed my time with all of you this morning. Thank you Thanks. for having your talent on display on my show. Where can we go to follow you? Because, I mean, we don't want it to end here. Uh, we have an Instagram. It's uh, MFR Band. 
at Instagram. You can follow us there, or you could just Google Marine Force Reserve Band, and you'll follow. You can find all of our social media. All right, you're gonna play us this song, and then you can get in line for some of the barbecue. I'll all let right. you cut in line for sure. All right, thank you guys. Take it away. Website CW39.com. Click on that Houston Happens tab. We'll see you back.